How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I have some awesome and new iOS 13 tips, tricks and hidden features that I'm sure you're going to love. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin. So first first up, I want to show you something here under messages, but it's not only restricted to messages, you're going to see that in a second, on which you can pretty much select anything uh, in iOS just by pinching. So for example, you can just pinch like that and you can select that message that actually chat, that whole chat here. Same story here. You can do that and this and this and this and you can keep going backwards and forwards, which is cool because you don't necessarily need to go ahead and hit on like edit or select messages and then do that. Look at how many steps you have like that. You can do it super quickly. And then uh, same story here under on your mail, for example, you can do that exact same thing. Um, it's just I'm, I'm a little bit off centered. That's why I didn't get it at first. But then you can keep doing that same story again. Uh, if you hit on edit and then select, it's another extra step. So you can actually do that much, much easier. In getting back to messages, you can do that to individual messages as well. So you can just go ahead and pinch like this and you can keep doing it. Doing it. So pretty much anything in iOS that can be actually selected, you can do that uh, just by using the pinch feature. Now, if we open the camera app and we want to record a video while playing a song from our iPhone, uh, it stops automatically the song. So let's say I'm going to play a song right here. And then uh, if I hit the record button, as you guys can see, it stops. So it stops the song and then starts recording. But there's a little trick here. So uh, it's going to start playing again automatically. So any moment now. Nope. All right. So <laughs> hit play again. And then uh, if we actually go to photo instead of video, we go to photo right here and we tap and hold and we take it to the side. It's going to keep playing the song while uh, the video is being recorded. So the song is being is playing, as you guys can hear, we have the video is going and we have this possibility. So how cool is that? This amazing little trick here is <laughs> a life changer to a lot of people. So just make sure your iPhone is compatible with this feature of tapping and holding. Only some newer iPhones are. Uh, if yours can do this of tapping and holding and sliding to the side, it's going to work for you. Now, if you go to Safari and then you open any kind of video like that, for example, but that actually uh, is using the Safari built in player. So this player, the iOS player, um, you see that you have those two options, right? You like skip forward 15 seconds or backwards. 15 seconds as well, same story. But what you may not know is that while the video is playing, let me just turn down the volume a bit. Uh, while the volume is, uh, the video is playing, you can actually tap and hold and that's gonna keep fast forwarding the video. Just tap and hold and it's gonna fast forward. You can see right there at the bottom. And of course you can see uh, where the video is like, like that. So you have this extra possibility of not only uh, going 15 backwards and forwards, not actually scrubbing, which is very bad, you can actually go ahead, tap and hold, which is very, very nice. I really love this feature right here. Now let's go to our settings. And then I want to talk about face ID. So if you go to face ID and passcode, I'm just going to put my passcode right here. Uh, and then as you guys can see, we have the possibility to set up an alternate appearance. And um, as you probably know, alternate appearances are for people who like to dress up or use a ton of makeup or they put on costumes and things like that. Uh, so then it will help your iPhone actually identify you better, even if, you, if, even if you're wearing some kind of face costume or face uh, objects or something like that. Um, but what you can actually do with um, an, alternate, an alternate appearance, you can actually do two things. You can set up two different faces with this, which is very, very cool, like your face and your, or your husband, your wife, your brother, your mother, father, or anything like that. Uh, if they are at least a little bit similar to you, this will work. But also what not everyone knows is that you can actually set, uh, set up an alternate appearance and do like a scan 
uh, a normal scan like like I'm doing right now for myself uh, even if I'm not, not wearing any costumes or anything like that you can just do it normally and rescan your face uh, just so your iPhone is gonna recognize you much much better because it's gonna have the normal face ID and then it's gonna have a setup appear uh, an alternate appearance even though it's gonna be the exact same appearance but it's gonna uh, uh, register it better uh, just like we used to do with touch ID which used to sometimes uh, register the same finger twice just to make sure that it picks up every single corner of the finger you can do that exact same thing with face ID now let's jump back to settings and then we're gonna scroll down to accessibility and then touch and then right there at the bottom we're gonna see call audio routing and it's gonna say automatic by default so uh, call audio routing determines where audio will be heard during a, a phone call or a FaceTime call so let's tap on that so what I like about this is that instead of automatically picking up uh, where your audio is gonna be output so for example is if it's gonna be automatic or a Bluetooth headset or a speaker uh, with this you can actually manually select it so if for example you do a lot of phone calls or FaceTime calls, especially nowadays where we're doing a lot of those. And uh, for some reason, you, you, you would rather have them all on speaker, even if you have a Bluetooth headset or the other way around, you want to have them always at your Bluetooth headset. Uh, you can actually manually select where that audio output is going to come from, which is very, very handy. Uh, sometimes this like I get, I get so mad about this because I'm using one and then the audio comes from the other. It's super annoying. With this, you can set it up manually. Still here in settings, uh, if we go back again to accessibility and then we scroll down to audio visual, uh, we're going to have a look at this thing called phone no noise cancellation. So noise cancellation reduces ambient noise on phone calls when you're holding the receiver to your ear. So when you're holding the iPhone to your ear, uh, by default, it should be on, but I've seen a lot of people with this turned off. And then if it's turned off, the audio quality gets dramatically worse. So make sure it is on. So with that noise cancellation, your phone call quality is going to get so, so much better. I don't know why it's so buried here under audiovisual accessibility. It shouldn't be so hidden. But anyway, so if we open our settings, once again, um, we're not going to go to accessibility this time. We're actually going to go to Safari and there are a ton of things here. But what I want to talk about is scrolling down quite a lot and we're going to have a look at camera or microphone. This is extremely important if you're concerned about security, which everyone should be. Uh, so if you go ahead here on camera, you can actually deny access to any and all websites to your camera. Same story here with the microphone, you can deny that as well. And same story with location if you want to do that as well. Of course, you have the possibility to ask to allow always or to deny it's up to you but if you are a little bit concerned about uh those websites that are always constantly trying to get stuff from you and especially with privacy issues and all of that i would recommend going ahead and hitting deny because maybe once in a lifetime you have for example hit uh, ask and you have allowed it so it's always gonna allow it and if you hit deny it's always gonna deny and if you need to you know where to change it but at least you're safe and you know what you have to do uh, if you want to change it back so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it was a little bit quicker than usual for those tips tricks and hidden features but I just wanted to show you in a quick way uh, some new some awesome some very productive and some just interesting uh, little tips tricks and hidden features here and there that I'm pretty sure you would love so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a few days guys take care bye bye